Okay, so this particular session is on uh, Monte Carlo simulation. So basically, objective of Monte Carlo simulation is to use a random number distribution and uh, generate various iterations. So a lot of a uh, lot of companies, be in automobile, uh, pharma, IT, all of these organizations, could use this uh, to basically test various iterations depending upon the random number distribution to see what risk they face or what is the probability of profits, losses. It is a good way to assess that. So let me take an example. So let's say that we have the mean and the standard deviation for a particular um, for revenues, <clears throat> fixed costs, and variable costs. We'll just put FCs and VCs, fixed cost and variable cost. And let's say these are my numbers. For the mean and the standard deviation, we can use any numbers actually. And so this is two lakhs uh, sixty and one. This is twenty four, four and maybe thirty five. Now what we will do is we can get the we can use the norm inverse function to get the inverse of the cumulative distribution basically so if you take the norm inverse function it will ask you for the probability first now here is the catch for probability we would use a random number distribution which is a uh, monte carlo simulation which we can do using the rand function and you take an open bracket and a close bracket together so it will generate a series of random number distributions for probabilities mean we can take from here for revenues and standard deviation for revenues we can take from here and bracket close enter so this is the norm inverse uh, for the random number distribution and we can repeat the exercise for fixed cost and variable costs also right now the profits is very simple it is just your now the see the important part is if you just keep clicking you will see it keeps on changing depending upon the normal uh, random number distribution the profits will be basically between revenue minus your fixed costs minus your variable cost although it's other way around it's revenue first then reduce variable cost to get contribution then reduce fixed cost to get profit but just for alignment i have mentioned it like this once we do this we can probably generate 100 such distributions <clears throat> we go to series and then columns, stop value 100. Okay. And we can create a data table with the output of the profits. Okay. And go to data, what if analysis data table, column input, you can choose any cell here, doesn't matter. Now it will not populate first. So what you do, go to formulas. Say calculate now. Moment you do that, you will get the possible profits for various hundred scenarios ka profits. Now, if you press the whole button, press it, then it will change. Hota Can you see that? So, for this distribution, we can find out the mean, which is the average of this distribution okay right then 
standard deviation also get you can get for this distribution scdev.s this is the standard mean and standard deviation of the profits rather so right and you can get your uh, risk of losses which is if you count if take the distribution of the profits and count where profits are less than zero so you have to count all you need to do is divide by 100 and you will get a percentage so this is nothing but your risk of losses you get what i said all of you so this is one way i mean you can apply this to so many situations but this is one way in which you can do monte carlo simulation to test various iterations based on probabilities of uh, which are assigned on your revenues fixed cost and variable costs based on a random distribution and test those iterations to see what could be the possible mean max min max mean standard deviation and hence arrive at some sort of an exposure estimate with the help of random uh, distribution basically it eliminates any kind of bias which can be there in any other distribution okay so that was about the monte carlo simulation thank you